hey guys welcome back to my channel Chrissy here so today I want to show you guys how I'm doing my nails now I decided to try poly gel for the first time okay so I got this one on Amazon right the more Moroven professional acrylic nail art so I wanted to get one that had everything in it for me to try out for my first time I've only used this once before I'm going to tell you guys what's in it. This nail kit, it's a great substitute for acrylic nails and you can just do it yourself real simple, real easy and it's cute and it's not as bulky as acrylic nails, which I absolutely love. I'm going to show you guys everything that is in the kit. I'm going to show you guys how I do my nails with this kit and everything. Okay, so inside the kit, it came with the UV light, which is really what takes up most of the space in the box. It came with this little glass thingy. I'm pretty sure it's for the slip solution. It came with slip solution, a top and a base coat, acid-free primer and nail prep dehydrator, which are things you need when you're doing this. Rhinestone glue gel. It came with rhinestones some different nail art stuff it came with nail clips and nail files and all the things that you think you might need they put nail cleaner wipes in it as well but dual form what do you call this dual forms are the plastic form system so these are the nails that actually go on your fingernail to give it the shape that you would want and the length of your desired preference it came with eight different poly gel colors so pink brown ombre pink beige nude white pure milk and also ombre purple white which i am very excited to try out in this video the kit also came with a lot of different designs stuff that you can play around with i do not know if these things work but i figure prevention is better than cure so i did get some <laughs> uv protection gloves so i will be using them in this video Guys, just hope them get you for spending your money. Oh my gosh. So here they are. So only my like nail sections will be exposed and then the rest of my hand will be covered when I have to put it under the UV lamp. So yeah, you know, <laughs> fancy. But yeah. So guys, keep in mind when you're watching this video, I am not an expert. I am not a professional. I am a beginner. Okay, this is going to be the second time I'm trying out poly gel and the second time I'm going to be using this kit. And I just want to show you guys like how beginner friendly it actually is and to give you an idea if you actually want to try out poly gel nails and use this kit for the first time. First thing we want to start with is nail prep. It's very important that we prepare our cuticles so that the poly gel can actually stick to it. So here I'm just taking the scraper from the kit and getting those cuticles ready. My nails were already cut and clean, so make sure you do that as well. If we don't actually prepare our nails for the poly gel, it won't stick to our nails properly and it will just come off too easily and then all your efforts will be wasted. So Definitely prep your nails before you start. I honestly don't know how people use the nail nipples to get their cuticles ready for nails because that thing is so harsh and I would not recommend it. thing I'm going to be using is the nail dehydrator just to make sure that there are no oils or anything like that on the nail to prevent the poly gel from sticking to it. The next thing I'm going to be using is the acid free primal. So once I actually put this on on my fingers I did cure for about 30 seconds. Okay guys, 
so the next one we're going to be using is the base coat and yes this is still important even though it is poly gel and i did cure that for about 30 seconds as well when you're using the dual forms they need to fit your nails fully wall to wall so make sure you you're measuring each one of your fingernails exactly because that's shape your nails going to come out with when you're using the slip solution with the poly gel make sure that you don't have any bubbles no air bubbles or anything like that when you're you know shaping it up and all that stuff because once you cure that that's how it's going to look and that's how it's going to stay so make sure your technique is very neat you see me using the slip solution to control the poly gel it's very important that you use a slip solution that comes with the poly gel because i don't know if alcohol will work the same way it might get a little sticky and poly gel can get a little sticky yeah i did my research anyways when you're using the slip solution to control the poly gel please remember to flip your fingernail and fix that part as well under the nail because if you don't you're going to have a bulge there and once it's set it's set and it's not going to be comfortable and it's not going to be cute so please remember to fix that part the color that i'm going to be using the ombre purple white when i put it on you're going to realize that it does change color like completely to clear once i put it under the uv light that's because it changes based on temperature I initially thought it was going to be just strictly ombre like once you put it on that's just how it's going to look but it fluctuates it changes by temperature right here I'm just putting on the little butterflies inside the poly gel before I put it on the finger Guys, I did not have a nail drill when I was doing this, so I was very, very, very careful to use my nail file and stuff to really get the shape that I wanted, and I accomplished that. But I am going to get a nail drill in the future because, trust me, it just makes the job easy, I think. <laughs> or at least I'm hoping. Because coming this close to the cuticle is not a safe game, but we did it. We did it.